Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. We are in the middle of the championship season. Last week you watched me uh, qualify for Spain. And, um... Are, are these... Uh, this must be the yearly standing so far. I'm Nico. Nico. Bill. Um, second, which I guess is okay. And I'm going to continue the season. Um, race settings. Let me just make sure. I forget where my settings are. The, ooh. Sorry about that. That was probably loud in the ear. You're going to love. <clears throat> Knock in the microphone, especially when you have a metal pop filter on it. Loading. Loading. <clears throat> when designing a game, I wonder who came up with the background. Oh, let's just have some glittery octagons. And lens flares just literally rolling by like bubbles in the sky. Oh, boy. Whatever I have just chosen is either crashed my game or taken extremely long because loading complete. Okay, trail blanking. <clears throat> I just want to not start the race and realize that. Um, it's raining. Living in South Florida, I drive in the rain all the time. This should be easy. Easy. Lemon squeezy. <clears throat> so we're gonna go through the starting grid. Am I in the? I am in the polar. <clears throat> because I had a. I tend to um. All right, I do have the right thing going. I tend to do great when I'm racing by myself, but once I'm racing with somebody, uh, uh, I tend to mess things up. So if there's other cars around, I have a lot harder time than just a normal uh, practice. And seeing that it's raining, we gotta take this carefully, right? Not. I'm just gonna floor it to see what happens. Uh, I'm just trying to keep the race how I, I do it normally uh -huh. and accelerate in the right acceleration point <laughs> I don't know why the audio leaves like that every once in a while but it's probably because my computer can't handle recording and playing at the same time I messed that corner up so badly oh I hate it I'd rather not hear audio at all than have muted audio like that <clears throat> Hamilton my my teammates behind me so I know I'm not gonna get rear-ended right is that what's gonna happen oh so close to getting that right oh nope so close to getting that wrong <laughs> oh, let's just glide through here like we're on a Sunday drive Forget the brakes, just scared. Okay, next time use the brakes. <laughs> and if you're wondering, I I uh -huh. Oh, sorry guy. That's probably Nico I mean Hamilton too. My 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 uh, teammate. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I'm not playing with a steering wheel. This is just the, the arrow keys. Um, 
I've played a lot of racing games in my time before there were even steering wheels available for computers and stuff. And to me, this is just, uh, well, uh, I'm not exactly a rich guy, so I don't have the money to buy steering wheels and stuff that other gamers do to make their game play better. Oh, crap, I'm going to get cut in corners, aren't I? Well, come on, stay on the road. The car's very squirrely right now, all of a sudden. I don't know if that's because of waters. Um, getting on the track a little bit more because it's raining longer, but wow, this this lap's a lot more um, slippery than the first one. Could it be the tires are wearing down? I don't know. I don't know what they really do in these games nowadays. Oh, and I'm from the pole position days where you just got this little 8-bit blob that you just kind of keep on this black pavement area and hope it doesn't fall off or you explode instantaneously. Nico Rothberg, fastest lap. That's me. Uh-oh, uh, missed, missed the breaking point there. I was too busy trying to figure out how many laps this is. Lap 3 is 17. Holy crap. There's a lot of laps going on here. Okay. So that means I'm probably going to have to pit. <laughs> Which means i got to figure out where the pit lane is. Oh, yes. The second scariest thing to happen when you're racing is figure out where the pit lane is. Oh. <laughs> uh. That's only if you don't know where the, the, these tracks at all. I'm, I'm not a... Uh, I don't know this track too well. Oh, DRS time. Oh, fudge. Yeah, sorry. I, I almost spun out. Oh, I just probably pushed through. Oh, sorry. We pool our money together to buy these wheels that I just hit you with. No one get out of my way, you dummy. Whoa, whoa. Okay, you're smart. You're probably leading. Yeah, I, I did cut you off pretty bad there. Sorry, Hamilton. I'll buy you a donut after work. <laughs> Can you imagine considering this work? What did you do today? I drove a car a couple hundred miles per hour down the road in the rain. Where tires cost more than most conventional cars. Ow, oh, puppies. I in real life I wouldn't be able to do this. I love to drive. I mean, most most of my jobs in my life have been based around driving. Hence why I like racing games. I guess no, actually I liked racing games before I knew how to drive a car. Um, but, uh, I know in real life, the harder the drive, the less I like it. So something like this where I'd be racing against people, I don't know. I don't think I'd do it good in real life. On a highway for a couple minutes? Yeah. And yes, I've had cars over 100 miles per hour in real life. I, I got pulled over at over 100 miles per hour once. <laughs> I, I got... Oh, fudge. I just cut that corner bad. <clears throat> I, um... Replaced a radiator in an old 70s Chevy Nova. And I was going to be driving to Florida from Boston, so it's about a 27-hour drive. And I wanted to make sure that there was no holes in the radiator or anything. And this, this Nova actually had um, the clutch and, you know, they had the manual transmission. And I'm like, how can I test this car out before I start driving to Florida? Because I don't want to get to, like, I don't know, New Jersey and realize, ooh, 
Now there's a little delay there. And when I get to New Jersey and go, oh crap, I need to, I got a radiator leak or something. So <clears throat> from where I lived in Massachusetts, I, I uh, drove up to New Hampshire and drove back to my town, Massachusetts, basically all out 100% hauled. The car floored, just pushing the hell out of the car. Um, it was like three o'clock in the morning or something. It was all on the highway, and I do not suggest you guys do this at all. But I, I got back into my town after having the car <laughs> speeding <laughs> uh, for a couple of hours. Speeding violently, I should say. I'd never do this in real life, guys. I was stupid. I was a kid. And uh, I got pulled over doing 127 miles per hour in a 45 mile per hour zone. 127 miles per hour in a 45. And there's a reason why I was only doing 45, because there's a reason why it was only a 45 mile per hour area. <clears throat> um, really stupid thing to do in real life, but, uh, and I should have had my license taken away right away. No, not again. Not, oh, come on, game. Ah, pay attention. Ah. So the police officer, understandably, was really angry. But this is um, back in the late 80s, and things were a lot different back then uh, than they are now. And uh, basically, he said, I could take your license away right now, rip it up right in front of your face, but I, I, I told him what, what I was doing, and uh, he actually seemed to understand, even though I was being an idiot and should never have done that. Um, and by the way, that's not the fastest I've been in my car either. Um, so he, what he did was he gave me a ticket for 55 and a 45, which at the time in Massachusetts was 100 bucks for the tickets and $10, ten dollars for every mile per hour over the speed limit. He made me park the car. <laughs> this was the worst part about the thing. He made me park the car where he pulled me over. And the next morning, I was supposed to be driving to Florida, and uh, now that next morning, I needed to get a cab to go get the car. But after he had me park the car, he's like, so how, how are you getting home? I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, just jump in the back, and I'll give you a ride home. And so the officer that pulled me over for doing 127 in a 45 just gave me a $110 ticket and drove me home. But I was already within, I don't know, five miles at home. But, uh, yeah, that's a story. Don't do it, guys. And I used to have this uh, friend, we used to uh, race from Hartford, Connecticut to Springfield, Massachusetts. And it's like, I don't know, 30 something miles. And, uh, we try and cut the trip down to about 20 minutes. And uh, one time I did the trip in his car. He was driving and he had a, uh, believe it or not, just a Maxima. And he got it up to over 150. That was stupid, Zeus. But no, don't ever do that. But look, I'm doing 189, 190, 200. See, I can handle my car at 200. <clears throat> See, I'm usually pretty good with the racing games as long as I don't have to worry about the other cars. So if I'm in front, I'm usually okay. That's when I have to start racing around the other cars, especially in the rain. Ah, same corner every time. I don't know what's going on there. Computer not... Used to not do that, but I just updated the uh, Xfinity. 
the graphics card, so it really shouldn't be doing that. We're wondering, yeah, the car's getting a little squirrely. Where's my gas? My gas is fine. How's my tires? My tires, I guess, are fine. I don't know if these tires are wear differently than the normal slicks that you get. But, uh, racing alone like this, hmm. I'm not saying I want to. Oh my god, stop it! Yes, I was just fishtailing big time there. Oh. <clears throat> I will go like this, get this out of the way. Oh crap! That just did not. That was not cool. Oh! I got nailed from behind too. Somebody's behind me? Yeah. Uh -huh. We might as well get the pit lap out of the way. <laughs> Next time, let's find the pit area. Now I'm going to be racing with cars, and you'll see what happens when I race with cars. Not too cool. I'm in seventh. Now that's right, because I crashed going into the pits, I'm going to have to make up some of my spots. So, guess what, guy? Oh, whoa. Why are you freezing, game? Warning collision with that. That was the game. It froze on me. Oh, did I just get in trouble again because I hit him? <laughs> I know that's not how Indy works. Because in real life, I probably would, would have gone airborne if I hit him like that. But hey, we're... I got by the jerk. Yep, I just called him that little jerk. I don't even know if I'm saying his name right, but whatever. Uh, a little t too late on the brakes there. Just a little. I don't like rain races at night. No, I don't. And that's alright. I'll do my best to make it through the turns. Um, and when I say uh, I don't like with racing games, it usually means it's... It's just a challenge, and I just prefer not to be challenged, yeah. Okay, I'm in third now. I shouldn't say I prefer not to be challenged. I, I, I like it. I like it. I like it like this, I like it like that. I'm not gonna finish that, but if you know the BC boys, you know that there's a wiffle ball bat involved. <laughs> Yeah. How's that for a little move on you, mother? You don't mess with the KMA and his little Mercedes. The car that I would never own in real life unless it was just handed to me. Mercedes are, um, they don't handle for their uh, power. I would rather have a BMW, even though BMWs aren't that great either. If I have, if I could have a car on sound alone, I would have a Maserati because those sound great. But you know, gas cap costs nine hundred bucks. You don't want to be spending nine hundred bucks for a gas cap. I know that because my dad owned a Maserati. Yeah back in the late 80s for about two weeks until he found out he needed to replace the gas cap and found out it was 900 bucks. <laughs> He's like, nope. Not a today. So I'm three seconds behind Hamilton, my guy. And that's just because I crashed into the pit fence. Gosh darn it. There's six laps left after this one, and I gotta start taking my turns better if I'm gonna catch up to my teammate and wipe him out so I can get by him. This corner I can usually do better than most people. 
in racing games, there's always a uh, corner that you can find a better way in that you're not able to do in real life, but you're able to do in the game. Well, so guys, the moral of the story is do not drive fast or else you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble, especially nowadays. Uh, I messed that up. Hamilton, mess something up. Be good to your teammate. Uh, sorry. Sorry, guy. I don't want to mess you up. Nice fun. Hey, did you see his back end go out after I hit him? That's not nice. That's not nice. They're gonna not buy me a beer tonight after work. That's okay. I don't drink. Oh, come now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, There's our, oh, yeah, I cut the corner. This one, I got it. There we go. This is where I'm gonna pass you. Oh, get off the grass, you stupid nincompoop. I was so excited I was gonna pass him. Ugh. That's where I should have passed you again because that corner I can usually do better than the computers. Yeah. Would you stop throwing water in my visor, guy? Yeah. I just. I'm afraid to hit him. Usually in racing games, I have no problem hitting the other players, but here, you know, it's a penalty. Sorry, Hamilton. Oh, crap. I should be past there, but oh, oh I get it again. Oh, sorry, Hamilton. Yeah. What a bunch of crappy corners that was. I got five laps to take this guy back. That's pretty easy to do. Well, I can't say that, but I should be able to do that. There we go. Accelerate. Like a boss. There's a weird sound I haven't heard earlier in the race. I don't know exactly what it is. Am I? No, 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 no. Okay. I gotta figure out. This is probably because I have so many um, videos on my computer right now. Um, each completed video is. Oh god. Like three or four gigabytes. Whoa. I don't know what happened there. Somebody hit me from behind and there's a yellow flag. No overtaking. Did did Hamilton like spin out behind me? Did he try and hit me or something? Hmm. And now I forgot what I was talking about. That's that's so so much like me. All right, just uh, if you're you're still here, <clears throat> I would like to say uh, the streaming schedule is coming back in September. I think I'm gonna not do it the um, the week of the holiday, but I think the following week I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, start streaming again, and it will be Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at approximately 6 p.m. But I most likely am only gonna be streaming uh, Minecraft because I want my streams to be focused on Minecraft because um, my streams are gonna take a little turn and um, be also a uh, be better 
teach people how to react to situations better, how to live your life where I think is better, and help people out of situations while I play Minecraft. Um, Minecraft will be the focus, so it's, but um, also helping people out will also be part of the focus. Cause I, I want you guys to be able to, if you have something on your mind, you need help with decisions, or uh, you have issues with certain emotional things that you're kind of stuck on, I kind of want to be there to help you out, give you advice. Um, not a therapist or anything, but I think being there for friends that come to the stream and helping them out and having uh, helping people figure out how to focus on the positives instead of the negatives in life is uh, going to be a good thing. Because I'll tell you what, um, a lot of people think I'm, uh, well, a lot of people know I've been through a lot of crap and wonder how I'm able to do it, but, uh, you kind of just, no matter how negative a situation is, you gotta find some sort of positive and just hold your heart onto that positive, and you gotta be able to have control of your emotions and your thought patterns and stuff like that, and... Those are the types of things I want to help people out with. There's just, there's so much negativity in the world now, and if I can help one person not be so negative and make an impact at least a little bit on the planet, um, I, I would feel better, you know? And if I can do that doing one of my favorite things in the world, which is playing Minecraft, oh, all the better. It's... Uh, my back end was slippery there. Um... Uh, why is DRS enabled in the... Turns like that? Yikes. <clears throat> kind of thinking I probably shouldn't have taken the... I'm worried about my gas now. I think I, the first time it shows me that I should enter the pits, I think I'll wait till the second lap. Do it a lap later than I did that last time. And... Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes um, with some people also. There's a lot of people that really support me and the message I'm I'm gonna be wanting to uh, do the streams and the videos and the podcasts and the other stuff I'm doing that uh, I'm getting a lot of great help and a lot of a lot of support and even though I haven't really released anything under the guise of self-help yet which will be coming um, People, oh my god, the support is amazing. A lot of the uh, communities I already belong, whoa, I have no idea. The uh, A lot of the communities that I, Minecraft communities that I belong to, have no idea the amount of uh, work I've been doing behind the scenes uh, to get this uh, new way of doing things. Uh, started and that's gonna start the second week in September I was initially was gonna do it the first week but that would have meant my first day streaming would have been a day after a holiday which is one of the worst days of the year um, as a post guy because you got multiple days of mail and seeing that we already have Sunday off mail moves even though it doesn't get delivered it still moves on Sunday so on Monday, we normally have two days worth of mail to begin with, which is a pain in the behind. 
but on a day after a holiday, we have three days worth of mail, and it's uh, usually a big pain in the behind. It's usually a three or four hour longer day than what you would normally spend, so I don't want to be stressed out and going, oh man, I need to get home so I can stream on one of the harder days of the year, so I'm going to delay a week after that. Um, I wish I had a date mine but there's a monday holiday and the following tuesday will be that day that i do the um the streams are coming back one thing that was um kind of kind of worrisome for me with playing racing games is that i wouldn't be able to have any um conversations while racing but i have diarrhea of the mouth and here i am about to have Checkered flag. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Game. Catch up. First place. Petronas. Do I get a full lap all by myself? Or do I, can I hit space bar and get rid of that? Oh, yeah. Up your butt. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Did I really say that? Yeah. Point at your butt now. Oh, wait. Did I say that? Really? <laughs> On the car, it said, keep fighting Michael. I must have really wiped out Hamilton. Yeeks. Oh, thank you guys for watching me. I had five second penalty too. Jeez Louise. Where, where did Hamilton? Oh, wow. Ham Ham yeah, Hamilton's in fifth. I must have... Ooh, sorry, Hamilton. I... I'm going to probably watch the replay on my own. I don't know if you guys want replays or not in the videos. Let me know if you want to see the replay of the race. Um, I can do that as a bonus video. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me. But I'm not going to have it in this video. But guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate your support. And guys, have a great day. Goodbye.